So, nutrition, food, diet. Stuff that is very important for your professional career, for being an athlete. Um, it's how you feel your body. It's how you live. It's how your body takes a fuel, turns it into energy, and allows you to perform. So this video is about my journey with that because <laughs> my journey with food has been and nutrition has been a interesting one. So I'm currently a plant-based athlete, uh, meaning I'm like a vegetarian on steroids. Um, yeah, you don't don't eat meat. Uh, you try and stay away from all sorts of meat products and try and eat as organically and plant-based as you can. So fruit, veg. Um, best quality you can and you get all your nutrients uh, from the plants really good so prior to that I was a uh, I grew up uh, never really liking meat anyway uh, I didn't really like the chewy texture of meat and you know fat fatty meats and stuff I didn't really like them uh, so as I got older and I started to um, kind of look at my diet and think about, okay, well, you know, what should I eat? What shouldn't I be eating? You know, turn pro, uh, what's the best thing to eat for pre-match? And learn, you know, start to find out about like preparing, you know, throughout the week and carb loading and all this stuff. Uh, and then halfway through you kind of realize that not all of that's true and I with my curious self came across loads of other theories and alternate views about protein and food quality of food what's going in the food and then you you start to hear all these things and you start to question your diet You're like okay well what am I eating am I eating the right thing is this good for me? Is that good for me? And then you start going on this journey of, okay, I'm going to try and understand this shit the best way I can. And I'm going to try and get the best quality diet I can for my own benefit. Which leads to buying the latest product that's out, saying that's the best thing for you. Uh, drinking the latest drink, um, working with different nutritionists and just trying to find the right thing for you because everyone's different, everyone's body works different. Um, but, so from going through that journey of loads of different things, I mean, I tried a, a raw diet. Uh, <laughs> I went straight from eating chicken and cooked meals to a raw diet, which is the freaking hardest thing you can ever do uh, when it comes <laughs> to switching diets. And I found it really hard and then I had to come back on uh, fish for a while and then I started doing some more research into fish and then thought oh shit well, I don't really like what's going on with the fish and so I said okay plants the plant base is the way forward and and I think if I'm speaking to someone now who's curious about different diets and different ways of eating and trying to get the right nutrition for whatever they're doing whether it be you know um, playing sports or you know you're a young uh, professional get good advice speak to someone who has done what you're looking to do with your diet um, and get a template for what it looks like and what is required don't try and do what I did um, at times which is just go on YouTube hear something do some research and think okay I'm gonna add that in um, because what you don't realize is what's actually going on inside your body. So the first thing you need to do is see what's going on with your digestion, see what's going on with your, you know, how you're breaking down the food, your gut. Um, 
and doing like the proper tests and screening to kind of find out what's going on and then get some advice on you know uh, with that you can get find out your tolerance for certain foods and what foods you might be allergic to that you don't even know or you know figure out what's going on and get some good quality advice based on that and then you can take that from there and you know start to get a, a good um, basis of what to do moving forward um, I still have issues with nutrition now um, even being on a plant-based diet the main thing is recognizing that it's it's a discipline, it's a practice. It's it's you you need to do it every day. You need to stick to it. And like anything, you can get lazy with it. Um, you're out eating. You're you traveling a lot. You need to kind of structure what you're doing. You need to kind of plan, especially when you're you're trying to eat right. Because uh, sometimes, you know, when you're out there options are can be limited so yeah get the right advice get a plan together find someone who's done what you're looking to do and realize that it's it's a journey with it man it's not like uh it's not like a quick fix you're not gonna wake up tomorrow and be vegan and be plant-based and all of a sudden you know try and uh you know eat all these greens and stuff you your body takes time to adapt your mind takes time to adapt like it takes time. They say the average um, length to, of time to implement a proper uh, vegan diet is like 18 months. So, like, it takes time. Uh, so be patient with yourself and, yeah, uh, enjoy it. Enjoy the um, the journey with it because it, it, it teaches you a lot. You, you know, you start putting more care into your food and learn about, you know, sourcing it where it's coming from and what happens to it and like for me i I feel like i'm getting to the stage where i want to like grow my own shit like because <laughs> you start to um want to take care of yourself to that level and get the best um best nutrition so yeah that's my video on nutrition i hope this helps someone and uh yeah